I was at the grocery store and I was just buying my groceries and someone was before me and there's this just lady with her baby. She was just buying a few items and as I was just there waiting, I began to just watch how she, they were taking a long time and I noticed that her transactions weren't going through. And what I began to see is that the lady, the clerk, was starting to take things and items out of her uh, grocery bags and I started to feel really uncomfortable and I was like okay I, I don't like this you know it just made me feel uncomfortable and I wanted to do something about it because I could tell that this lady was uneased and that she was kind of anxious ashamed embarrassed I don't know if that happened to anybody ever if you were at McDonald's and you're like dang it I don't have a dollar or something just didn't go through your debit card didn't go through whatever it is we've all maybe have come in that situation where we just didn't have the money so what I did is that I stepped in and I said I would like to pay for you and she said and she completely refused right away and said no 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 that's okay and I and I looked into her eyes with like tears in her eyes and I said please let me help you. Let me do this for you, okay? I know this is uncomfortable, but I just want to bless you. And she just kind of, you know, swallowed her tears and she said, okay. And as we went through that transaction and um, she gave me a hug and she said, thank you so much. And I said, no problem. And I went about, about my day. Now, just, this is my point that I wanted to make was I was on a high. I was like, I want to go through every single line and pay for somebody because I was just so on this emotional high because I felt like, wow, I just solved this lady's problem for just a moment because she was so uneasy. She was so ashamed. She was hurt. I understand how that feels when you just don't have that money. You don't have enough. And I was able to help her at that moment. And this is what I want to say. I, after I left uh, the grocery store, I was just meditating and just thinking and pondering on what happened. And I realized is that when, the, when money is in the hands of a giver, that giver solves problems. But when the money is in the hands of the greedy, it creates problems. And I just began to just really, really think about that. And I was like, you know, God wants to make each and every one of us a giver. He wants you to be a person that has a heart of giving, a lifestyle of giving that is not just at the church pew, but wherever you go, you're that light. You are that solution. Because I want to tell you is that, yes, money is very powerful, but it depends on whose hands it's going to be in. If it's going to be in the hands of a giver, you will solve problems. And that is what Jesus Christ has called us to do. Maybe some of you guys are here wondering tonight, how could I be the person to solve problems when I have problems myself? I want to bring up a scripture if you can go to that scripture it says uh, in John 14 16 and it says and I will ask the father and he will give you another comforter counselor helper intercessor advocate strengthener and standby that he may remain with you forever now I want to focus on just one word one trait of what Holy Spirit is and that is a helper if you can go to the next slide is that a helper is a person or thing that helps or gives assistance or support so I want to tell you is that when you this evening connect yourself to the Holy Spirit and that is through tithing and that is through offering when you give that moment and say God I trust you with this you come into partnership and when you abide in the Holy Spirit he is a helper that is his nature it is his characteristic so when you do that, he cannot help but help you. He cannot help but say, I want to help you with this situation. I want to give you money so you can give. So that you are never in lack, but always in possession of more than enough to give to others. So this evening, I want to challenge each and every one of you guys, is that God wants to make us givers is he wants you to rise to a new level but he doesn't just want you to rise to a new level so that you can have some power or have a new position or stance or prestige he wants to give you because he got a mission for you there's always a mission when you want to go to a new level because he says I want you to bless and be a blessing to others amen just like I had that moment at the grocery store I wanted to do so much more and I believe that that is the heart of God. He wants to do so much more for you so you can do so much more for others. Amen.